There you go, darling. There. You're not wasting a fry upon that pig, are you, Zach? Eh? Uh, no, no, I'm not, I weren't hungry. <laughs> she's a pig, you know. She's not a member of the family. Oh, there's so much special about this one, love. She's a little queen. Hmm. Lads have done us proud here. Ah, they've really splashed out this time. You're a hard man to buy for. Ah, well, what can you get a man who has everything? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing here? Bus Dingle! Are you coming out or do I have to come in and get you? Oh, heck. We off then, Dad? Hang on a sec. What's he up to? Activity centre. <sighs> He's not sorry about that, is he? Come on, Dad, we're going to be late. For God's sake, I'm trying to do these sums. Come on, Tony, at school. You can do that later. All right. Oh, we'll wait for you in the car. No, no I can't take you this morning. Why not? Dad! I've got to see the bank about a loan. I told you. No, you didn't. You'll have to take them. Look, I'm busy this morning. You should have discussed this with me. I did, and I'm going to be late. Yeah, and so are we. Look, we are not getting into debt up to our ears just because of this stupid scheme of yours. We'll let the bank decide, shall we? Get a taxi. Oh, don't be silly. Wish me luck. Tony! Oh, Dad, look at the state here. Wake up, will you? Oh. Oh. I must have dropped off. What are you playing at? I'll give you a rest, will you? Look, letting yourself fall apart ain't gonna want me, Mum, is it? There's nothing we can do for your Mum. She's got the doctors and nurses and that. So you're just giving up on her? Are you telling me that's all she meant to you? There's nothing I can do. Just go see her, for God's sake. Let her know that you're there for her. I can't. The one time that she really needs you, this is how you cope. Who do you think you are coming around here with your mad ideas? Oh, no, we're Nate place. What other nutters are around here go chucking rocks through caravan windows? How long have you got, Marlon? And when could have been hurt? You've no right to drag her into this stupid vendetta. This is family business. Get out of here, you scab. You're not fit to walk on Dingle land. You're not even man enough to admit you did it, are you? I didn't do it! I was in the bosom of me loving family all night. Weren't it, Dad? That's right, son. All night. Apart from when you nipped off. Sam! You're not worth the bother. Family. I'd rather be on my own. Well, it's just as well then, isn't it? Marlon! Get out of here, you scab! And don't come back! I'm ready for a bike soon. Uh, yeah, well, I'll have to wait till next Christmas. What about one of those scaled down 4x4s with a real engine? He'd love that. If you had your way, you'd have every toy under the sun. No, I'm just living a second childhood. All I had was an old spinning top. I used to share that with the rest of the street. Yeah, well, it's done you no harm. I've done him spoilt rotten and turning out like Chris. Mm. I gotta go. Bye, James. See you later. Well, where are you going? I've got a meeting. I'll be back for lunch. Uh, don't go, Steve. Can't we have some time together, the three of us? Look, this afternoon, I promise. What happens if the blackmailer comes back? I've told you, Daniels has been dealt with once and for all. Now stop worrying. I, I fed it and that, <laughs> but, but I reckon she were missing you. Oh, ta. <laughs> More trouble than the pig. <laughs> She's a beauty, lads. Must have cost you a packet. Not really. Uh, yeah, not really cheap. No, uh, I, we've been saving up for it, haven't we, Sam? Oh, I Saving. Yeah. She's the best present you ever got me. Well, she's the only present you ever got me. You're worth it, Dad. What about Marlon? Who? You've made your point. Can't you just forgive and forget? A dingle never forgets. I thought that were elephants. He's lonely. He knows he's done wrong. It's the dingle way, love. He's not fit to bear the name. Hey. What? She's not touched a fry up. Oh, aye. Looks a bit off colour, if you ask me. It's probably the move. She'll perk up once she's settled. Ah, no. Yeah, come on. Let's leave her in peace. Oh, what now? Well, it, it probably wants a walk or a play or something. It wants pudding down, that's what it wants. 
Dad, it'll hear you. Zach. Huh? Oh, yeah, it's all right, Sam, yeah. Uh, come on, then, little fella. Let's see how good you are at fetching sticks. Hi. Morning. Got a busy day on. Why? Oh, she's making conversation. Packed, thank you. And no, I can't take on any of your calls. You're in a very suspicious mood this morning. Catch your light or... Oh, Paddy, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you get on Athwaite's the other day? Fine. What, the cows aren't sick after all? I didn't get a chance to see. Why not? Cos Althwick came out and threatened me. Said he'd rather reminded me on business. You think the animals are being neglected? I don't know. So you're going up there today? How did you guess? Right, let's go. I thought you wanted us to stay away. Well, since you're obviously not going to, I'd better see you don't get into any trouble. Come on. <laughs> Oh, well, though, funny time of day to be watching videos. Wait, see, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Any good? Do you know, I'm a sucker for out in black and white, mate. I'll, I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Late back, is it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> hey, hang on, you forgot to leave me my money. <sighs> Again. James? 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 James, where are you? What the hell do you think you're doing? Get your hands off my son. We're only talking of him, Kim. Are you all right? Look, whatever happened to my mum don't run it family, you know. I'm sorry, Roy. I thought you might have been someone else. Yeah, well, sorry to disappoint you. Hang on, Roy. James could do with a bit of male company for a bit. You obviously seem to get on. No, I've got to get the tack room cleared out. It can wait. And honestly, come on, push for time as it is, so... Roy, leave it, please. Come on, then. James wants to see some horses. Horses! <laughs> Do you have to sit here? You make the place look untidy. Leave me alone. Someone is due from the television company. You want to create the right impression. Now finish this in the kitchen. Hey, hey, you're only coming because I wrote to Nigel but... I know. Well done. Now move. What's the matter? The family. They've abandoned me. I know, and it should be cause for celebration. All a man's got is family. Well, in your case, you're better off without Dodger. Mr. Payne. What? Where shall I start? Here. Sam, Sam, you, you'll put a good word in for me, won't you? I'm not talking to you. Oh, Sam, Sam, come on. I, ne I never meant to land you into trouble. Sam! I can't hear you. Sam! Oh! You don't have to shout! What is going on? We're getting ready for our inspection. A what? Someone from the Nigel Hibbert show is coming to give us the once over. No, 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 not in my time, Eric. I am too busy. Kathy, if the show's a success, it will reflect well on both of us. I have a tea room to run. I'm not interested in some second-rate cookery show on a channel watched by half a dozen viewers. Uh, Who is this Nigel Hibbert anyway? Uh, some obscure Kathy. chef with more glitz than talent. I'm sorry, Eric. Excuse me, love. Uh, you do know Eve Rowland, don't you, from the Nigel Hibbert show? Hello. Hi. Hello, Nellie. Aren't you going to ask me how I got on? Why should I bother? You haven't involved me in any other part of this ridiculous scheme. Well, the bank didn't seem to agree with you. In fact, they jumped at the idea. They're happy to put enough money in to get the whole thing off the ground. And I'm supposed to be happy for you, am I? Vicky, do you not see what this means? This could be the making of this family. And they're just going to give you a suitcase full of cash? No questions asked? Well, exactly. We've got to show we mean business. Ah, and how do we do that? By filling this in. I've done my bit. Just need your signature. Here. What is it? Um. What is it? Application form. In order to get the money, we're going to have to, uh What? Mortgage the house. 
What do you think? Clear case of neglect, isn't it? God knows when these animals were last fed. I think we should call in the RSPCA. You won't be calling in no one. Just what the devil do you think you're doing? Um, I need to treat your herd, Mr Althwaite. Some of them look on the last legs. Brought reinforcements, have you? Hello, Mr Althwaite. You don't really want to see your animals suffering, do you? They're not wrong with them. Come on, half of them won't last the night. Well, get away from them. No. We need to get some feed into them. Did you hear me? I'm warning you. I'm going to treat your herd, Mr Althwaite. And if you don't like that, then... I suppose you're just going to have to shoot me. Why don't you put the gun down and we'll all go inside for a nice cup of tea and a little chat. Who said you could trespass on my land? I told you not to come back. I'm within my right to use this. What's wrong with you? Can you not see we're trying to help? I don't need help. I can manage on my own. You heard need urgent attention, Mr Althwaite. You're not as young as you were. It can't be easy getting up to them at this time of year. You're the last person I want here. A Tate. It's all your fault. I'm in this mess. Why is that? Why is that? Hounding me, putting me rents up so I can't afford to look after the place. I'm sure we can work something oh, out. Oh, the boot's on the other foot now, isn't it? Joey's not responsible for your rent, but I'm sure we can help. I don't need help. I just want leaving alone. But what about your cattle? The cattle? I have no money to pay you. We'll, we'll worry about that later, shall we? I'm not taking charity from a Tate. Mr Althwaite, we will sort something out. Now, if, if you want to help, go and put the kettle on. How could you even think of doing this behind my back? I've consulted you every step of the way. How was I to know you thought the whole thing was a joke? First, you throw away 30,000, not getting a proper survey done. And now you want to give away the whole thing to the bank. Well, it's nice to know you've got such faith in me. Look, we've just got the house the way we want it. I don't understand why you want to risk everything on this stupid scheme. Becky, all my life I've taken risks. You can't expect me to sit around reading the paper and watching the grass grow. I have to be doing something or I'll go mad. Well, I'm not going to let you gamble away the security of this family. If you want to do something exciting, take up bungee jumping. And what if the activity centre's a success? Huh? Has that thought even crossed your mind? I'm not just doing this for me. I want to build something for the children and their future. Fine. Well, let's let them decide, shall we? I can assure you of complete security and confidence here, Mr Marchant. Oh, good. You may have access to the box at any time during banking hours. I'm hoping that won't be necessary. May I ask if you'll be requiring the box for a long period? Well, the longer the better, as far as I'm concerned. Excellent. Your keys. Thank you. This way, Mr Marchant. She not touched the grub yet? Nothing. She's swelling up like a little barrage balloon. She does look a bit pale. Poor love. Have you been in to have a look? What at? Well, she might have a blockage or something. Oh. Oh, yeah. You go. She's your pig. Yeah, but you're the expert, love. She might need a woman's touch. Zack. Can't you see the suffering in her eyes? Right? Go. Cool. It's all right, love. Auntie Lisa's just come in to have a little look at your tummy. Huh? There you are. <laughs> but you find her then, woman. Going in there like the Seventh Cavalry. I only walked in. Ah, well. I'll put her out of her misery once and for all. You're not going for your gun, are you? No, love. Castor oil. Soon sort her out. Oh. 
You'll have to forgive my junior partner, Eve. Uh, may I call you Eve? Why not? There's a certain amount of petty jealousy. Obviously, the wine bar is far more successful than the... Uh... Anyway, uh, Cathy lets Envy get the better of her sometimes. She won't object to our filming here, oh, will no, she? Oh, no, 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 no. She'll do whatever I decide. On the Nigel Hibbert show, we like the communal angle. He wants personalities, ideas for local dishes, anything out of the ordinary. My wife and I will be any too pleased. You are, love. The dessert menu. Oh, no, I don't think so. If I was you, I'd just stick to the coffee. Well, I think <laughs> Nigel will be delighted with the venue. Ah, oh, well, excellent. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good day at school. All right, thanks. No such thing as a good day at school. You just said you liked it. You don't need to tell the world, though. Robert, do you mind running ahead and asking your mum to put the kettle on? Want a private word, dear? Oh, there's no fooling you, is there? See you in a minute. Okay. How's it going? Great. Why? Have you heard from your dad? Some chance. You would tell me if he tried to get in contact with you, wouldn't you? Look, he ran away and left me. I don't care if I never hear from him again. Your dad's broken the terms of his parole. Even if he does show up, there's not much chance of you being able to see him again. So you've come all this way out just to tell me that? No. I just wanted to make sure that everything was all right with Jack and Sarah. If you're happy living there, there's no reason why we shouldn't make the situation permanent. So, what's all this about, then? Tony's Adventure Playground. Activity Centre. I seem to have the support of just about everyone except my own family. Well, it's only your family who will suffer if it goes bump. The bank seems to think there's a market here for this kind of thing. We'll have to plough money in for a year or two. But then it shall be washing its own face. Where will the money come from? Your dad wants to use the house as surety. So if it does fail, we lose everything, right? And if it succeeds, there's a job for all of you for life. And there's a chance to make a lot of money. But if we lose the house, there'll be nothing for you lot except for the clothes you stand up in. No one ever got anywhere without taking risks. So, what do you want to do? I'm not sure. Well, I am. Dad saved my life on that adventure weekend. The guy who's running it didn't have a clue. If anyone can do it, you can. Go for it. I'm right behind you. Thanks, Will. I don't see what else we can do. Well, can you not have a word with Kim? And say what? Arthwaite can't go... Could you drop his rent? At least to be able to afford to feed his cows. You're asking me to appeal to Kim's better nature? Oh, yeah, all right, forget it. It just doesn't seem fair to cart the bloke out just because Kim's greedy. Paddy, he pointed a shotgun at us. <laughs> that wasn't loaded. How do you know that? Because cartridges cost money, don't they? All right, I'll see what I can do. Zoe. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're all right. I've got to get my tea. See you tomorrow. Mm, night, Paddy. Hi. You haven't come to offer a home to a stray gerbil, have you? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, it's personal. Uh, there's something I want you to do for me. So, uh, is there any particular reason for your visit? Sit down. Yeah. Yeah, there is. There's nothing wrong, is there? I mean, um, Andy's perfectly settled at school. He's happy there now. I came to tell you that if his dad does reappear, there's every chance that Billy will have to go back to prison. Well, Andy knows there's always a home for him here. Good, because we think Andy's best interests are served by him living here on a permanent basis. Well, that's fine by us. I had to be sure it was what Andy wanted. Andy? I had to be sure whether he was happy here, if he felt part of a stable family. What do you mean? Well, He's not had the securest of upbringing so far. He's been shunted from his parents, then onto his grandmother, and then onto you. Yeah, yeah, we are aware of that. Well, it wouldn't be fair to place him in another unstable environment. So, um, how does he feel? Well, why don't you ask him? Andy! Andy! Come in. How would you like to live here with us all the time? And you are happy here, aren't you? Of course I am. I couldn't be happier. Everything's great. So, if it's all right with you, we'll put the wheels in motion. <clears throat> if this has anything to do with Kim, I think I'd rather be left out of it. No. I want you to look after something for me. What? This. 
It's the key to a safety deposit box in my bank. Why do you want me to have it? Well, let's call it my insurance policy. What's inside it? I think it's best if you don't know, then. Then I don't see how I can help. Just look after it. If anything happens to me, open the box and do whatever you think is necessary. Are you expecting something to happen? <laughs> no, of course not. I'd just like to cover all the angles. I can't promise I'll be able to do what you wanted. I think you would. But I guess I'll have to trust you on that. You sure that's a good idea, Zach? That's the second bottle of castor oil you give her. She loves it. When I go down, watch her go and chop for some more. You're coming inside, then? In a bit. Zach, you've been watching over that pig all day. She gets more attention than I do. Well, you go in. I'll, I'll just see she's all right. <laughs> you know where I am if things don't work out between you two. Don't you listen to her. She's only jealous. <laughs> hey, look, so much stuff. Hang on. Look, hang on! <laughs> oh, my boots. Still better out than in. Good girl. Yeah. What's this? It's a ring. It's a flaming gold ring, you little beauty. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying in mobile all day. I'm sorry the meeting went a bit longer than I thought. Well, you could have rung to tell me. You know I didn't want to be left alone. It's all right. I'm back now. Everything's fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what's the matter with me. I feel like I've been rattling around this place. I'll tell you what. Why don't I take you out for dinner tonight? Uh, no, uh, I'd rather stay at home. Just the two of us. Kim. You're not still worried about Daniels, are you? <sighs> not now you're back. Look, you have told me the whole story with him, haven't you? You're not leaving anything out. Why should I be? Just making sure. Cheers. I don't like it when you're not here, Steve. Well, then I'll stay tonight. Not just tonight. You don't need your place in the village. You're hardly ever there. I just thought it'd be best if I kept it on till we got married. All right, then. But let's do it quickly. I want the wedding as soon as we can get it organised. So, uh, how about spring? Steve, what do you say? <laughs>